So hi everyone. Today I'll review uh, KPMG payslip. So KPMG comes under Big Four. So Big Four as in like uh, they are working in tax and financial sector like Deloitte, uh, EY, PwC and KPMG. So KPMG is less talked as KPMG doesn't uh, have a lot of uh, facilities in across India like uh, PwC or EY, even Deloitte but uh, it is good to work with kpmg and the the big advantage of working uh, big four is like you can easily switch between them so people are working in ui can easily switch to deloitte people working in pwc can easily switch to ey because they have the domain expertise in tax and financial stuff and this big four is always renowned for uh, stable job and then some other facilities like other parks like free bus free meal uh, free snacks and like good uh, health benefit so we'll talk about kpmg like this is uh, 2020 but this is for a non-technical role which is executive they basically deals with uh, the taxation like stuff not for development so this is a pretty new uh, one and if you see his her basic earning is uh, 27000 rupees and this is from bangalore location so you can uh, expect a little high in the salary so 27000 is basic and if you see the special allowances is it is uh, 23833 so there is no hra and performance bonus which paid in a month so that is 9226 so you see like you know it is uh, it is completely given and other earnings is 800 rupees so this is uh, for traveling allowances so total uh, gross is around 60,000, uh, 61,000. Now, if we uh, see the deduction, PF, her deduction is 3,200 rupees and professional tax is 200. So, that, that is basically a state government tax and income tax she is giving at 37,747 uh, rupees. So, I think she doesn't uh, take any of the deduction. So, uh, the total gross income total net pay is around 53,747 which is pretty good in terms of it is not very uh, senior position 